good morning or whatever time you're watching this and hello explorers and welcome back to another van life adventure vlog my name is eric casey and i've been living out of this 2006 chevy express 2500 standard gas cargo van since the end of october of 2021 i've definitely been all up and down the east coast initially it's definitely been a lot of fun i especially in 2022 and in this year of 2023 where i don't have any updates or plans necessarily and stuff like that here's what the back of my van looks like if you're curious about that I'm just going to charge my Jackery 240 watt hour battery back there that's in between my safe and my nightstand with this really nice and thick red 12 volt extension cable while I drive. My van is currently running. It's pretty much warmed up. It's almost 9 o'clock in the morning and my mileage is at 118,476. I have to change my oil in about a thousand miles after that. I currently have a full tank and in this video I'm going to be having the time of my life at Spruce Knob. The uh, elevation is about 4,800 feet, and it's the highest peak in the state of West Virginia in the United States on planet Earth. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that for whatever reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I think I have a 35-mile drive all the way to the very top where the trailhead parking area is for the lookout tower from this spot here. Where I'm at currently is Lake Buffalo Recreation Area, and it's down Monongahela National Forest, row number 54. I'm just on the one and only pullout with this hump, as you can see. It's to like four or five feet tall little uh barrier or something natural made all the other pull outs down here there's a big cliff on the side and yeah i had a great and successful night's sleep right here and this is the 11th video so far in the first month and the second year of my van life venture also route 250 is paved it's over that way somewhere i don't know if you can see that probably can't because this hump is too tall <laughs> i would go up there further to show you but i don't really feel like it but yeah it's a pretty nice route and then the route i'm going on down this way once i get out of this uh gravel road and go out of the entrance of this place is route 28 and it's also called mount freedom road so how awesome is that anyway please come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button and check out the description down below if you want to learn more about me and the type of van that i live in i'm super excited about this i have two days up there and i'm going to be filming a bunch of time lapses and i'm probably going to put together a landscape video just like i did of lake buffalo here so i'm gonna try to get service somewhere and make sure I put that link down below the video so you can check it out over my landscape channel. But yeah, I'm just going to put my phone down in this little cup holder and plug it in with my lightning cable right here and then head on down this amazing road.
explorers. Look at this amazing view. I'm absolutely blown away. <laughs> Quite literally, it's extremely windy up here. So thankfully the wind has calmed down now and it's 1230 in the afternoon. I just went beside this uh, concrete wall where the steps are, the lookout tower, so you can hear me. And hopefully you can. <laughs> But uh, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed all that scenery, especially the time lapses up there. I'm currently getting the second one of it zoomed in. It's just going right now. <laughs> and after that, I'm going to go down this trail to where the view is completely open. As you can tell, there's a bunch of trees around. The only good enough view you can see of the mountains in the distance is right there, which is west. And real quick, I just want to go ahead and share these three screenshots that I got of Google Maps. I used the measure distance tool and from right up here, directly in a straight line to the lake, is 3.13 miles. The elevation up here is 4,863 feet. And as you can tell, there's three different views right there. That first one on the left, on the south, you can see all the way pretty much to uh, Harrisonburg, way out there in Virginia. Uh, I don't really know if you can see that far from up here. There might be too many trees in the way, but that's what it looks like on a on an aerial view of Google Maps. <laughs> and then the one in the middle is a lot more zoomed in, basically just this area here. And then that third one all the way in the right is uh, basically just this spot here <laughs> from here to the lake. And then there's a lot of open fields over that way somewhere. Uh, I don't think I can zoom in far enough so you can see it, but there's a massive valley you can actually drive down into. It looks like a lot of fun. I probably won't be going down in it though. But uh, sorry about the wind, check this out. <laughs> There's my Sony camera set up on the tripod. I got my big gallon jug of water inside of my backpack there to weigh it down so it doesn't blow around over the place. And then what's cool is I have the bag that my Manfrotto tripod came in wrapped around this post, <laughs> this metal pole for the railing so it also doesn't blow. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely incredible, dude. There's a mountain peak over there. Look at that. It's insane, man. Absolutely freaking awesome. I'm so excited. I actually made it up here. I'm so glad and thankful and blessed. But check this out. The lake is just so high on that way. <laughs> you can barely see it from up here. then well i have been having a super great time filming a bunch of scenery especially with my drone that you just saw thankfully the wind calmed down enough so i was able to do that so i know there hasn't been much talking in this video so here's a little update it's about 6 10 right now in the evening and i hike down this very short trail to the south point where you can see directly south and towards the east and west over that way and i got another screenshot of google maps i'll go ahead and put it up right here that's galdanir knob from 17.7 miles away in a straight line it's only 414 feet lower at 4,449 feet and it's literally directly straight through those trees up there <laughs> it's way too windy so that's why i'm behind this massive boulder kind of down here on the uh bottom i, I, I don't want to wreck the audio for the billionth time of redo this I want you to be able to hear me, but check this out. Somewhere back there where uh, the lake is, I'll be tomorrow, which is Thursday, April 13th. And then this Friday, April 14th, basically, I have to go up and over this mountain, all the way the heck back down there to that gateway restaurant place, and get back on Route 28 and go all the way around the opposite side of that first mountain ridge. And I go all the way around that way, probably well over 30 miles, all the way to Gautamere now. <laughs> 
Isn't that nuts? <laughs> That's basically the way I'm gonna go. I was looking on Google Maps and I could just go down that way from the lake it would be a bit quicker, but I don't want to be going on no more gravel roads. I replaced my leaf springs. I want to keep them as new as possible. I want them to last at least five years. But yeah, check this out, man. This is so freaking nice. I think I'm going to probably, uh, I don't know, head back to my van pretty soon after I relax here at this, I don't know, cool little spot. Check that out over there. That thing comes up on Google Maps as the uh, glider launch place. I guess you can launch your hang glider there. Looks pretty small. Oh, I don't know how you would be able to do that. There's a bunch of boulders in the way. And when I have my paraglider in uh, sometime in March of 2024, which I'm super excited, it's 11 months for now, which is awesome. I'm going to try to come up here with it because right now will be literally perfect to go flying around on that thing. All I have to do is just carry it in its uh, big bag or whatever and walk across these boulders to right there in that grassy field and probably do a reverse launch and then just fly around. <laughs> But look at this view. This is incredible. There's a bunch of farms down there and stuff. There's a bunch of roads. I think it's like Fay something. F-A-Y. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just simple stuff out there. A bunch of uh, cattle farmland and whatnot. And then down there somewhere, I think is Isaac Lane, where you see the most amount of white buildings and structures. That's crazy, isn't it? Look at all that out there. <laughs> and then there's some little dips and valleys going that way. And I don't know what that white thing is. It looks pretty awesome, though. And like I mentioned in previous videos, if I had that $1,400 long zoom camera, I don't know if I mentioned the name of it, but it's actually the Sony RX-10 Mark III. I have the RX-100 Mark III. <laughs> so it's awesome. If I had it right now, I would literally be able to see in God's near knob because that thing can zoom all the way into like 20 miles max distance. 75% uh, of that is digital zoom because 25% uh, is the optical zoom. They just listed on there as a 25X. That's basically what it is. And I think if you just zoom in using that, I think you can see about five miles. So uh, I watched a video on YouTube. It was the only video I can find. So maybe I should look up some more stuff and see if it can really do that. But I'm pretty sure it can <laughs> because someone was way up the top of uh, Mount Mitchell in North Carolina. And believe it or not, from there all the way to the city center, like literally downtown of Asheville, North Carolina, is exactly 20 miles. <laughs> so this person zoomed all the way in and you can see the entire town down there with the brick buildings and the roads and stuff. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to buy that thing. It's a lot of money and it's going to take a while, but I definitely think I'll get there. But look at that. Look how freaking awesome, dude. There's a bunch of chemtrails tra up there like always. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy. <laughs> it's basically what they are, are chemtrails. <laughs> There's proof out there all over the place. <laughs> you can go to my photography website in the link below if you want to learn more about that stuff. Look at this. Look at all the scenery. Look at all this beauty out here. Pretty soon, I'm going to be up there sleeping in my van. And I'm guessing after this, you'll see a night time lapse. Hopefully, I can make that happen. Because right now, or I think later on tonight, it's going to be a clear night. And I can't wait for that. There's like no lights around too, so it's probably gonna be perfect. All right then, guess I'll just enjoy the rest of my evening and check that out. There's a good old radio tower of some sort. That's pretty nice.
so it's the next day and i hope you just enjoyed all that amazing scenery of the lake and i decided to not get a time lapse of the night sky last night up there at spurs knob because i didn't really feel like it i just wanted to get some sleep and i made it all the way down here obviously i think it's about 11 30 in the afternoon and i don't know what exactly i'm gonna do right now <laughs> I don't know if we we'll want to hang out here for the rest of the day. Sun sets at about 7.50 something. So I'll probably have a good, I don't know, eight hours here. <laughs> I don't know whether or not I want to go back to my van and grab my camera. Come back here somewhere to this spot. Probably down there where there's a cool little bench I can sit on. And get like two hour time lapse or something. <laughs> or just, I don't know, wrap up this video and start my next video of going to a Galdanier knob. But uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but check this out. It is completely stone silent out here compared to yesterday. Look at that, dude. It's freaking awesome, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. The boat ramp section of this lake is completely packed. <laughs> I could barely find a spot. I just parked in the little dirt area slash grassy median right there at the end where you launch your boats. And like you saw in that footage earlier, I already fixed myself some pasta. It was pretty good. Just been chilling, walking around, and I don't know if I'm going to get any more pictures. So, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta make a decision, so maybe I'll get a time lapse, maybe not. I don't know, like, if I want to leave my solar panel set up down here. I'm not worried about it because I'm in the middle of nowhere, and everyone around here is nice, so <laughs> I guess I can set it up and charge my Jackery battery up to a decent amount. I think it's at 51% right now, and yeah, maybe I can get it up enough where I can put together one time lapse back there. I don't know if I have the patience to do another. <laughs> but look at this. Now it's shady. Look at these spruce trees. <laughs> it's so much fun, buddy. All right. I guess I'm just going to walk around and enjoy the rest of my day. And then I'll figure out exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> look at this. That is so nice, dude. Alrighty then, I successfully made it through the vehicle shattering over a dozen different potholes up this gravel road all the way back up here to the top of East Overlook as you can see. And just a little while ago in the video, I was up there at the uh, glider launch place. You can actually see it from down here. How awesome is that? I just decided to park a little bit further from the actual overlook. As you can tell, there's just a bunch of trees where I'm parked right now. And the reason for that is because I didn't want to go down that slight little hump and uh, I don't know, it just felt a little bit too sketchy back there. Plus there's a sheer drop. <laughs> so when my van was parked back down there at the uh, boat ramp place and while that time lapse is going that you just saw for two hours <laughs> I left my Jackery 60 watt foldable solar panel on the roof and I managed to get it from 50% all the way up to 100% so I'm super happy about that and if we're curious I've got a total of 12 pictures here of this place four different screenshots like you saw earlier in the video and then I left 14 of my rolling revival stickers up there in the lookout tower yesterday four of those I actually put on the back side of two different road signs at the little trailhead parking area and I'm just chilling. I think I've been here for about half an hour. I called my mom back. I was on the phone with her for about 20 minutes and the reason why I did is because she was uh, trying to find out where I was. She was leaving me a bunch of different voicemails for the past two days so now she doesn't have to worry and yeah I think I'm just gonna climb at the back and export this video real quick because it's probably close to 20 minutes by now and I don't feel like making it any longer than any to be and i think it's gonna get uh close to five o'clock by the time i leave this place so i don't know if i want to make the next video today or not or just find somewhere to park and probably stop at a gas station to buy some food maybe another hunk of pizza <laughs> but uh yeah i'm just gonna do that real quick and i hope you enjoyed my ultimate mountaintop adventure <laughs> it's getting pretty hot in here so i'm just gonna make this quick and i think that's pretty much it for today's adventure vlog so like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. May God bless you and all living creatures. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure.